Welcome. In this tutorial, we will begin by covering the process of getting your WizNet gateway configured to communicate with Zone Beacon and your Centralite Elegance MCP. Just as for a forewarning, I will be doing all of this on a Windows-based PC because WizNet software is only available for Windows XP and above operating systems. We will begin by opening our internet browser and going to sparkfun.com. Once here, in the search field, we'll type in Serial to Ethernet. We'll select the WizNet Serial to Ethernet Gateway, product number Wiz110SR. Scroll down the page until you get to the Configuration Tool Program hyperlink. Click this hyperlink and you will open up a, another window to save and download this file. Go ahead and click the save button and save this application and install the application. Once downloaded, you should see the new WizNet configuration application in your All Programs menu under WizNet. Go ahead and launch the application. To find your WizNet gateway, you must first make sure that you have plugged in the gateway to power source, in which case you'll see a small red light on. Secondly, you must have the gateway plugged into your home network via e Ethernet cable. The computer you are using to program this board should also be plugged into that same network. To find that board, go ahead and click the search button at the bottom. You'll notice that if you've completed this process correctly, you'll see your board listed under the board list on the left side of the screen. Here's where we'll configure the network settings for the gateway. Start by clicking the static button under the IP configuration method. The next part is more tricky. If you know and understand your network, go ahead and enter in a valid IP address to set the gateway with. However, if you do not know this information, follow this algorithm to help find an IP address that should work. Enter in 192.168.1 and then calculate this remainder port by adding 100 plus the estimated number of devices that are connected to your router through wire or wireless and lastly add 10 to that value. This will give you a value that should be not taken up by any other device. If you have problems continue to increment this last value here until you find a value that works for your home system. The rest of the network settings are pretty easy. Choose a port value that is greater than 1024 and less than 65536. Choose a subnet that's 255.255.255.0. Your gateway may be slightly different than the one that I have shown here. Typical gateway would be 192.168.1.1. Um, there's possibility that your gateway may not be that one that I just mentioned and thus you should try 192.168.0.1 the server IP address can be any value this is not important but must contain a valid formed IP address and port I chose 192.168.1.168 and a port value of 11,000. Lastly, choose Server and set the uh, checkbox according to or next to Use UDP mode to be unchecked. We will want to be using TCP instead. The next thing we need to do is set the serial settings. So go up to the Serial tab 
up at the top and click that and it'll bring up the menu for your serial settings. Enter in the following as exactly shown here. The, these are the default configurations of the Centrally Elegance MCP. Choose a speed of 19200. Data bit should be equal to 8. Parity should be none. Stop bit should be 1 and there should be no flow control or none. The last thing to do is click the setting button found at the bottom of the screen. This is not to be confused with the upload button as the upload button is what's used to update your firmware on the WizNet device. The settings button will take all of the settings that we have entered here in the serial settings as well as the network settings and upload this data to your board. So now you can click the setting button and it'll show that you have completed your settings and you can finally exit the application. For more help, visit www.zonebeacon.com or watch more of our how-to videos found on YouTube. And once again, thank you for choosing Zone Beacon.